Hey peeps, what's up Munchie here, back with another video and somebody created a dynamic island for Xiaomi, Redmi and Poco devices running. Miui, this of course is via a theme. Now, those of you who do not have your Miui devices, we do have a separate video for you which can be found in the description of this video. So this one is pretty dope. As you can see, the music player notification is in the pill right now and it works awesome like a dynamic island. The same thing is going to apply for your notification from WhatsApp, Telegram and a bunch of other things. So without any further delay, let us get down to business and see how you can implement this dynamic island from iPhone 14 Pro on your MIUI devices. Of course, no root is needed and I get a bunch of questions here. I am rooted. Will this method work? Yes, non-root methods work on rooted devices as well. So here it is, Xiaomi Mi 11X. Right now we are running the official MIUI 13.0.7.0 India build based on Android 12. The file which we need is the Grumpy UI theme MTZ file linked in the description of the video. And the next thing you're going to do is go into the Google Play Store and here then you need to search for MTZ tester again direct link to the app is in the description of this video and you are going to install it once you have installed it we are going to open this specific application herein we have the option of choosing our MTZ so select that and on the next screen we are going to say allow so this here is our internal storage super important thing to note over here right now we are in recents do not select the theme from here tap on the three bar menu on the top left select your device then go to that specific path if you download the file on your phone directly it will be in the download folder and now we are going to select this mtz file and then select apply over here now if you do not get the loading bar the loading process and you get the toast notification that theme has been applied you might have to repeat that process so three bar menu on the top left select your internal storage go into download select the mtz file say apply see again it did not do that so we are going to go back and repeat the process and this time it is applying it and we should get a toast notification that theme was applied successfully so here it is you can see that the theme has now been applied now in certain cases even after applying the mtz file two times from mtz tester it doesn't work for you what do you do then in that case you need to update your themes application so as you can see right now i have this version however i have linked the latest version of themes app in the description of the video and all you need to do is download that apk go into your file manager go into apks and update your themes application with package installer and then once the themes application has updated then you have to try the same process again using the mtz tester application and this time around you should be good to go now once the theme has applied successfully how do you get the feature of dynamic island from the iphone 14 on your lock screen well for starters we are going to unlock our device and then you need to go into the settings application and once you are in settings we will go into the themes section so here it is settings we will go into themes right here and go into my profile and here and we are going to say customize theme next select lock style and by default the classic one is selected because i am not using the china build of miui i'm using the global build so this specific theme was applied on top of my current theme select customize the menu you will be greeted with will be in chinese however do not worry i do have a screenshot which is linked in the description of the video which is using google lens to translate all of these but I will give you a brief overview over here as well so this is the master toggle to enable dynamic island and at this point dynamic island should have been enabled on my device if i go into the lock screen bam there it is you can see dynamic island in action working like a boss now going back into our themes section 
this option over here the second one is to move the dynamic island either to the left or to the center in our case we want it in the center so that is the option which we are going to select and now you can see the dynamic island has moved to the center now the next two values over here so this one is the x coordinate for the pill and this one is the y coordinate they can take positive and negative values for the x coordinate the positive value will move it to the right and the negative value will move it to the left and for the y coordinate a positive value will make it go down and a negative value will make it go up so let us first check out the current situation of the dynamic island so this here is the current situation of the dynamic island let us now unlock the device and we can say change the y coordinate and let us say i make this 200 over here and select ok and then we can check out the dynamic pill so as you can see our pill along with our battery circle moved down after that change now going back into the themes the next option here is 100 so this one is your rounded circle radius this needs to be below 80 and this is for the pill the next two are for your battery circle now what is the settings for this again this is x and y coordinate so for this one the x coordinate if you enter a positive value the circle is going to move to the right and if you enter a negative value it is going to move to the left and for your y coordinate a positive value will make it go down and a negative value will make it go up so let us try entering a negative value over here and see how that affects our dynamic island so here it is we entered a negative value and as you can see it has went up now if you want to move it left or right you have to change the x coordinate and for your last option the developer recommends you leave this as it is and there it is peeps that is how you get the awesome looking dynamic island from iphone 14 pro on your xiaomi device running miui of course going to work on redmi and poco devices as well and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you